Welcome back to Real Estate Radio. As always, I'm your host, Eric Hatch. And in studio with us, we still have the ever debonair, always vest wearing Robbie Trefethrin with Hatch Realty and Hatch Coaching. Uh, Robbie, we promised the listeners that you would tell them one of our favorite stories of, of how you acting as an inside service agent as opposed to an inside sales agent made all the difference. Uh, tickle our ears with this. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it really just started off uh, like this. I, I had reached out to uh, a potential client that signed up on our website, um, and I reached out to them immediately, and they weren't actually interested in buying or selling. Um, and this person was the daughter of somebody else that was looking to buy a new home. Um, I briefly talked to them, got off the phone very quickly, and, and quickly thanked her for her time. And what she ended up doing was um, she was very impressed um, by us. She sent our my contact information over to her mother, and her mom gave me a call the next day. So, so hold up real quick. Uh, this gal signs up on the website to look for a house, but she's actually not a buyer. Exactly. And you still took the time to, to have a conversation. For sure. It was probably about two minutes, and, and she didn't even live in the Fargo-Moorhead area, but she told me immediately that she was looking for her mom. She wasn't the power player, but she was just kind of looking for fun, almost like if you know someone was looking and you wanted to see what the market was like. So were you quickly saying, uh, what is your mom's contact information so I can call her and get a deal? No, absolutely not. Okay, why? Because uh, well, well, that's so uh, against the grain of what people think happen in this industry. Right. Uh, my goal when, when I reach out to somebody is not to, again... Uh, sell somebody. Um, my goal is to provide service. So what I said to this lady was, you know, I really appreciated your time today. If there's anything I could do for your your mother, you know, feel free to reach out to you, me here at my direct cell phone number. And then I, of course, followed up with an email and a text, which I think is really what kind of won her over. Um, mm-hmm. And I basically said the same thing. And then she, her mom gave me a call back the next day. Okay. So mom calls and says, uh, Robbie, I need a house. Exactly. Um, that's exactly how it went. Um, she says she needed a house. Um, and then, um, basically had said she, she heard great things about Hatch Realty. Um, at that point, a lot of people would advocate pretty much go for the close. She, uh, she said, we like you. She yeah. called you. Right. Right. So, so did you instantaneously say, okay, I'm going to set you up with one of our agents so we can get you in? Yeah, absolutely not at all. Uh, and said what, uh, again, with our philosophy, my whole goal is to ask really great questions. Um, and it took a couple times and as the co- conversation progressed, uh, about five, ten minutes in, it, it became apparent that she, what she said she was motivated by was she was looking for a different home, is what she said. Um, so she told me that she had a house to sell. She was looking for a different home. Um, and at that point, again, according to always be closing, I should probably go for the close. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so did you go for the close then? No, I did not. Okay. Uh, where, where we went from there was, was after she told me uh, about um, her house and and. Uh, um, you know the details of it. Uh, I again asked her the question of, well, obviously you said you're you're kind of looking for for something different. Why is that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and about 35 minutes later, uh, well, so you're on the, you're on the phone with her for 35 minutes at this point. Uh, uh, 10 minutes at this point, and then thir- it becomes a 45 minute phone conversation. Okay, and, and so uh, why is she moving? So uh, 45 minutes later. Um, uh, I've been told a couple things. One, um, her and her husband were involved in a motorcycle accident down in Florida oh about six months prior to this. Um, and uh, unfortunately, her husband passed away um, uh, on uh, in the crash, um, and she was still recovering from it. Um, and, and what she ended up saying was what she really needed was um, not just a new home, but... Um, she was tired of being reminded of the accident every single day. In, in the house that her and her husband were at, right? They lived, yeah. I, I mean, that's, that's heavy stuff, Robbie. Right. Uh, this woman was slow to open up. I mean, you Very. had to pry those doors open, right? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. What are the consequences if you just try to close her right away? She already called us and said that she's interested. Why wouldn't you try to close her right away? Like, what are the consequences if you if you just set that appointment and then hand off the baton to somebody else on our team? So I think uh, in the always be closing scenario, if I go for that close right away, I probably get her connected with one of our top salespeople because that's mm-hmm. just no, that's what numbers tell me is going to happen. And one of the things I, I asked this woman um, about thirty five minutes in, I don't remember for sure, was, "Well, what are you looking for in an agent?" Hmm. And her quote verbatim was, "I." absolutely do not want to work with your top salesperson. Why? Because it, 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 when you, you have this conversation with her, 
most salespeople that are very, very good like that, that sell the most, are very quick. Um, and, and they're very... Yeah, quick and aggressive. Quick right? and aggressive, yeah. right. And, and there's and pros that, that and cons. And fits me. Right, exactly. Right. Yep. Um, and this lady was not built that way. Um, and she didn't want a salesperson like that. She wanted somebody that was going to be able to slow things down um, and, and move at a pace that was more comfortable for her. So you knew when setting those appointments who to set her up with right? because you're trying to match her with the best fit. You know that you need to have an extra long appointment because this isn't a sales business. This is a service business. Correct. And sales are a byproduct of service. Right. And so everything that you're doing from that initial phone call to make sure that the baton gets handed off to the right people, mm -hmm. had you not done your job, Robbie, yep. uh, could we have sold her house? Yeah. For sure. Uh, would we have taken great care of her? Probably. That was the best we could have. Right. But but not as well as she deserved. No. Without near. asking the right questions. Right. Robbie, who else um, in, in this community and, and in this industry is doing what you're doing? I think we're the first advocates for it. Uh, in, in terms of moving really slowly, and there there are people out there uh, throughout the country who are doing a great job at right. this. For sure. Um, and, and we're learning from them, and they're learning from us. But locally, as far as we know, uh, our... our Inside service department is the first inside service department. There might be inside sales agents. Mm -hmm. uh, we have inside service agents, and we think that's the main difference. I agree. Uh, and so, Robbie, I love what you're doing, the leadership that you're bringing to our company, and the difference that you're making in this community. Thank you for being uh, a changer of, of worlds here. Thank you. You bet. Those of you tuning in, if you want to connect with Robbie or one of our inside service agents, reach out to us at livefargamorehead.com.